All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So I want to find the value of x here. And for my solution, start by writing this as x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. And now I'm going to divide both sides by x to the power of 2. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, and make sure to remember this property because this is a very important property of exponents, if I have something from a to the power of m over to a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to x to the power of x minus 2, and this is equal to 1. Now, from here, what I can do is take the ln or natural log on both sides. So I get ln x to the power of x minus 2 is equal to ln of 1. And the reason I did this is because we have x as a normal term as well as an exponent. So we want to get this exponent down to be a regular term. And the way I can do that is by taking the ln on both sides. And if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move b to the front. So this is going to equal b times ln a. So over here, I have ln x to the power of x minus 2. And I can move x minus 2 to the front. So then x becomes a normal term, which makes it much easier to, for us to solve for the value of x. So if I move x minus 2, to the front, I get x minus 2 times ln x is equal to ln 1. Now, ln of 1 is equal to 0. So I get x minus 2 times ln x is equal to 0. And this gives me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0 and I have ln of x is equal to 0. So these are my two equations for this problem. Now, for x minus 2 equals 0, this is simple to solve. All I have to do is add 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 2. So this is one solution of x. Now for ln x equals 0, well, ln, it's basically asking ln of what is equal to 0. And how, do, how we solve this is we can take e to the power of both sides. So I get e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of 0. e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So I get e to the power of ln x is equal to 1 and e and ln cancel out. So I get x is equal to 1. So now we have our two solutions, but we have to check if they're right. Because several times we can get a solution and it won't work out in our equation. So going back, our equation was x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. And our solutions were x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 1. So let's first start with x is equal to 2. If I plug in x equals 2, I get 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2s. So I plugged in 2s over here and 2 over here. 2 to the power of 2 is 4, and again 2 to the power of 2 is 4, so this is right. Now I'm going to plug in x equals 1 for this. So I get 1 to the power of 1 is equal to 1 to the power of 2. And 1 to the power of any number is 1. one to the So I get 1 is equal to 1. 